Yeah, everybody, good gamer morning waddles guide Minecraft back. Welcome day big day big house tree hype off of the charts. The bamboo farm. This thing, you guys, is an absolute beast. This has been running in between episodes and last episode. And we now have nine going on ten, just slightly, but, but technically going on ten stacks of bamboo. This thing is... It's crazy. Honestly, I have no clue why we didn't build that thing sooner. I mean, probably should have been one of the first things we built. We literally... We literally live in a jungle. I was thinking about it. You know what's also kind of weird? Uh, the, the next build. We've been living in a jungle for like... 25 episodes now over 25 episodes and we still you know what we still don't have we still don't have a single not one treehouse to our name then we live in a jungle the biome of tree houses that's so weird just like the weird scaffolding problem that we fixed last episode this episode we're going to fix that weird treehouse problem that's right today's episode the treehouse guide today we're going to build our very first treehouse and hopefully it's going to be the best treehouse but this treehouse no matter what isn't going to just be any treehouse this is going to be a treehouse that you guys and uh, by you guys, I mean pretty much every single one of you at this point has been indirectly asking about for for a long time so the elytra the elytra and i we are good friends it still needs a good custom name but we're good friends with the elytra of course we can fly around now right well actually no but technically yes we can't fly around a lot because well we, we don't have a lot of rockets and we don't have a lot of rockets because well we don't have a lot of paper and and maybe more importantly more embarrassingly we don't have a lot of gunpowder. Did he just, just say gunpowder? Gun yes, that's right. He just said gunpowder. At least today we're gonna build a treehouse. It's not gonna get us a lot of gunpowder, but next episode, oh, next episode, that's gonna get us a lot of gunpowder, a huge amount of gunpowder. It's finally time. Oh, it's finally time for, wait for it, wait for it, a creeper farm. In the next episode, we will be setting up a creeper farm. Now, usually I like to build those kinds of things up in the air because I think they look really, really sweet in the air. I was thinking about it in tree houses and I realized this is the perfect opportunity for a tree house and a creeper farm. The plan, build a creeper farm up in the air in the next episode and have all of the creepers or at least the drops be funneled down into the tree house. And then every single time we want gunpowder, easy. All we need to do is go into the tree house that we build that should have a pretty good view and collect the gunpowder. Maybe even take out creepers depending on how we set up the farm. Ah, that's gonna be really, really sweet. But today's topic, tree houses, the most important thing when it comes to your tree house is literally uh, in the title, uh, the tree, the house, that's important, but the tree may be even more important. You need to pick the perfect tree for your tree house or things are going to go downhill from the start. The smallest tree that I would recommend trying to go for a tree house with is one of those gigantic oak trees. Definitely think about the size of your tree house before you pick the tree. How tall is your tree house going to be? Your tree that you put the tree house in should be at least double, and maybe even if possible, three times the height of your tree house. If you're building a medium sized tree house, one of these tall jungle trees, or maybe even a tall spruce tree, tree houses look a little weird in them, but that could technically work. If you're building a large size tree house though, you're probably unfortunately gonna need to build some sort of custom tree, whether that's just making a jungle tree taller or literally building a gigantic custom tree, that's kind of your call. Once you find the tree, actually first before you do anything chop all of the branches off of the trees so we're gonna go with the jungle tree of course uh don't chop the top branch off but all of these side branches they have to go branches are maybe like the second most important thing for a tree house but right now the vanilla ones they're gonna be in the way don't stop at the wood blocks when you're taking these branches out get rid of the leaves too which means you might need to break a few to break them away from the tree to make our tree house look realistic we're gonna need some supports in here for sure not a doubt about it but the vanilla tree branches are maybe not the best support at all and they'll kind of be in the way if you don't have any extra leaves definitely grab some of the leaves from these things after getting rid of the branches it's time for our platform now i think the way up and down into our tree house should probably be these vines i think that would probably be pretty sweet so what we'll do eventually or well honestly really even now is we could break that out and we could put that there and then actually because this is brand new and i still don't have a lot of string i'm gonna hoard this i need to get down here i, I need to bring all of this with me the scaffolding is essentially the most valuable thing in the world to me now between scaffolding and i it's it's literally all love and so we have this starting platform over here maybe we come up right there i'm, I'm not too sure but for now that's fine then on the front side, I, I think we should maybe go like three. Three should probably be good. See, when it comes to a treehouse, you really, really want to try and keep things realistic. So a gigantic platform that's like 10 blocks long coming off of the tree. Well, unless it's literally the biggest tree that I've ever seen, 
that's probably not really a good call, un uh, unfortunately. Instead, try and keep things a little bit closer to the tree. So maybe this platform right here is cool. We have three blocks off this way, two over here to keep it symmetrical with that side. Now, I want this treehouse to be a little bit more complex than just one building, so we're gonna have to try and figure out a way to go up on this thing. Should be pretty easy, might be a little bit tricky. I think that maybe we could go over here with jungle staircases instead of oak. We're gonna build this treehouse out of lots of oak and spruce and actually all other wood types, but maybe we go up with staircases right here, and then we could turn the corner like that and I'll come back in here with some slabs and then we keep going up I'll have to get more staircases you see so we have staircases and slabs and more staircases and then we step all the way up to here and then maybe what we could do is maybe even more slabs like that and then finally to, to, to cap everything off we could maybe do like staircases right there and then we step up or actually we could probably even just shave these staircases off and have the platform like start right up here like like the third floor of this thing or Second, I guess, I guess the stairwell is not really a floor, is it? Tree houses, think about them. What are they usually built out of? Like, like in real life. Uh, yeah, tree houses in real life, they're usually built out of wood because, well, I mean, imagine trying to put like a giant stone structure inside of a tree. Yeah, that's probably not really gonna work. So your tree house should probably be built mainly out of wood, at least if you're trying to keep things a little bit more real looking. See, if I were to build this tree house with like a cobblestone roof and everything, maybe it would look cool. I, I'm sure it could probably work but it would also look really really heavy right like stone it just looks heavy so maybe it would be a good idea to avoid putting lots of stone in your treehouse now this treehouse is up in the air which means the view already is going to be good i think i would like to definitely take advantage of the view which means lots and lots of windows so i'm thinking we go up on the sides with maybe uh, may maybe oak logs kind of going up like i'm doing here and then on the inside of the oak logs we'll do a bunch of windows then uh, on top of the windows we'll probably come back in here with spruce i feel like that looks really good spruce matches oak like perfectly and then down below the windows i don't have it but i think maybe spruce slabs so see spruce slabs spruce slab right there and then over here same thing spruce slab spruce slab now over here this corner i'd like to do something a little bit more interesting all right the view is is crazy and most of our builds are over here so what if somehow we set up like a wraparound window right here so maybe we do like maybe oh you know what we could do we could do like a slab there and then on the other side we could do a slab right here and then in here we could do trap doors like we did on our starter house or axel waddles building mm-hmm but what kind of trap doors do we do maybe well we could do spruce but maybe we do oak ones to switch it up a little bit all right to, to switch the colors up so yeah let's try that we'll do one two three just like that and then we open them all and then panes will connect to the trap doors that'll be perfect that means to keep everything symmetrical we will do the exact same thing over here three going up just like that and then boom we have our corner window that should work out perfectly and then finally we're in the home stretch this side over here which is going to be pretty much the same as that side but moved back a little bit we have a staircase then we have oak going up then we have maybe slab slab like that and then i guess well hold on let's think about this we could do this right here uh-huh uh-huh and then this could just go right back it might look a little weird from the bottom but that could go right back over to there but this area this is going to be a problem uh you see this it, it'll look good and all but the thing is the floor is blending in right there i don't know if i like that we're gonna have to make some readjustments i think i got it i moved the staircase up one more block that should be good then i'm thinking finally the top platform maybe we try and make it a circle with like a three by three in the center which means if we go one two three uh four five right there and then we turn and we go this way one uh two three four five right there and then we would turn right here and go uh one two three four and then it goes into the tree which is perfect so this has been one of those things that i just sort of jumped into and started doing but do you notice anything about the tree house like like where the tree house is in relation to the tree the tree house is actually instead of around the tree it's set off of the side of the tree so what i mean by that is over here we climb up this thing and then behind this we don't have anything the tree trunk isn't in the center of the tree house now yes you could definitely make your tree house work with your tree trunk being in the center 100 percent by setting your tree house off of the side of the tree it gives you a whole lot more options to do interesting different things like weird roof lines here's what i'm thinking floor one this floor right here is sort of decorative or maybe for the view like we can walk around look around but yeah there's really not much of a function to it in relation to the creeper farm then we move up to floor two and this floor 
this is a little bit bigger, so maybe we could put some like chests in here for extra storage if we need it, but probably most of the storage will take place in the cathedral. Then on top of this floor, we'll have uh, a floor three, but it won't be a room. It'll just be an open top, and that's where the creepers or the drops will fall onto. I think that's probably a pretty solid plan. But this area over here, it's not covered by this floor. What do we do? Well, you see, because we built this thing off of the side of the tree, we have like an interesting shape going on. And that means we could do like an interesting roof line too. So dark oak, we'll take dark oak and go all the way up to here. And then it'll end at the side of this thing. I don't know how I'm going to do the wall here. The wall might pop out. It might not. I'm not too sure. We could change it later. But dark oak roof line over here covering just this bit over here. I think that would look pretty cool. Usually on a build, I would not recommend using like three, four different types of wood because it's a lot of the same texture and it's all wood but on a treehouse definitely forget about that use lots and lots of wood now what could we do up top well mm, that's a tricky that's really really tricky i'm thinking that we could maybe start the same as the last floor so maybe a, a staircase facing upside down just like that then we could go maybe one two three three is good we don't want this thing to be too big or too tall in fact this might be pushing a little bit but i think we can make it work so I, again three like that now maybe the corners hmm. the corners let's try and leave these open again i feel like that would be really cool i liked that idea down low too to spice things up a little bit what if and in, instead of just doing another like thing of oak logs we, we do another thing of oak logs but this time maybe this time we have them face out I feel like that could be pretty cool. And then we have like a little window in there, little window there, window in the corner, wi uh, window, log, window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's definitely it, I think. Yeah, hopefully. It's been a while, though, since we've jumped off of this thing and taken a look at it. What do we think? Is it? No, that's not too big. That's not too big at all. I answered the question before I could even finish it. Mm, that treehouse. Yeah, yeah, yep. That's definitely still looking realistic. And it's really interesting looking, too. Okay, perfect. This is working. And I, I think it's looking good. I would like to think it's looking good. But, so what if we maybe take these supports and continue them outwards? And in certain areas, they're going to link up perfectly. Like right here, I would say that's a pretty perfect link up. It kind of blends into the staircase that we have going on up there now when you get higher up on a treehouse build like this one things might start to get a little bit more tricky because you might actually end up hitting the top of the tree i have basically essentially hit the top of the tree right here which is gonna make things a little bit more tricky but it shouldn't be too bad at the same time hmm <laughs> what do i do on the top though so these could continue right up that would look good right then oh what if maybe we do a ring of dark oak half slabs right to kind of step everything up and then right in the center in that three by three area i would have room for solid blocks like right here uh-huh uh-huh yep that's perfect that's exactly how we're gonna do it question answered again the weird part is going to be figuring out what we do with the leaves on this build like which ones do i remove which ones do i keep that's gonna be a little bit tricky on this floor i i've also been thinking how do we get up now, this is going to be a little bit risky, but I was considering this. If we take some vines from this tree right here and then go over here, we could put the vines where I was thinking. I was thinking one, two, three, uh, uh, four. And then when we want to get up, we could step out here so we would leave that open. Then we could climb right up. Then when we want back down, we move over and, and go down and then move back over. It, it's risky for sure. Definitely. And I mean, I could maybe put like trap door, trap door to make that a little bit safer. But I think that would be really cool, right? Like to get up, you step outside of the building and then you go up and it would keep everything compact. And then I don't have to trim out too much leaves in here. I mean, I'm probably going to end up clearing out quite a few, but yeah, I think that would be really cool. It's dangerous, but it could be really cool. And I could also maybe even just put like a trap door for the way back down, just fall down. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking though. So glass panes right in here, glass panes right over there. Uh, then the inside of the roof. I'm gonna do something different over here. I'm not too sure quite yet. I was thinking maybe jungle Like I could do jungle blocks to make it look a little bit more interesting like solid ones, but I'm not too sure I've been working on the treehouse and I would say that it's coming along. Well, it's definitely coming along Everybody would say that but I would say that it's coming along like pretty much perfectly I feel like the treehouse from a distance and from up close looks really really good So here's what I have though right now inside we climb up the vines right then we have some fences right here So I can't fall off because knowing me I would probably just walk off the back of the treehouse then over here We have a window then we have another window and then a turn and another window another window and another window then over here we have a 
a staircase, and this is where things get a little dangerous. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm thinking that maybe the staircase should be like left open. I feel like that would keep this thing closer to the tree. It would be a little bit more dangerous for sure, so I'll have to be careful, but I feel like keeping this thing smaller and closer to the tree would be good. But uh, anyways, then we keep moving up. We have this big open side. I want to leave that open. We can maybe fly in. Then finally, the room right over here. So I went crazy with the lanterns. I put them on the ceiling. Then on these corners, I decided to also uh, leave these things open. I put trapdoors in the bottom on the top, and then it's open, and you can like see right out and see everything. When it comes to getting a good view from this place, I feel like the trapdoors and the openness is probably the best move. Now check this out, I know this is gonna make some of you nervous, but we jump out this way and climb up and then boom, we're on top of the thing. But, here's the thing, I've been thinking about it. I don't know if I ever actually need to get on top of this thing. So I've blocked spawns everywhere, you, you can't spawn on a slab, I have buttons there, I have trap doors right there, and then fences and everything, so yeah, no spawnable blocks up here. I'm thinking that when we set our creeper farm up, we could actually maybe just have the creepers just fall like right into the building, so I don't actually need to go on top of the thing, which I like. Like the creepers could fall down in here, I'll clear out leaves or something, and then they land on like a platform, and then the loot is like right in this room. I feel like that would probably be a little bit better than having it go on top of the build. So the top of the treehouse, we can get up there with the ladder, but we probably won't ever have to. Then I, I just went ahead and put windows in here. I feel like that looks nice, and then the bed, but the bed doesn't stay here. And yeah, so at this point in the build, I would be doing two different things. Thing number one, doing the details inside of the build. I definitely want to get some details in down here for sure. Definitely need to work on this room, but this room over here, I'm thinking that we're actually going to probably leave this room alone and take care of it in the creeper farm episode because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do in this room. And I want to have lots and lots of room for, of course, whatever I decide to put in this room. So this room for now, that's good. I've lit it up. I've blocked spawns. We're fine. That's in a good spot. This room though, this room isn't done quite yet. So first things first, I was thinking that maybe we could come in here with staircases, right? And have that go over just like that wherever we have staircases. So we're going to need a little bit more. So now we have something that looks like that. That's a little bit more interesting, but it still needs work. I was thinking maybe in the corner we could have that come down and then to make it fancy, we could put a trap door right there. That kind of makes a nice like bend right there. And then over here, this goes straight back. I think that's nice. Then this area. So... I could do a log like that, I was thinking, and then maybe I could craft another trap door or two, and then the trap door goes boom. Uh, no, 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 scratch that, scratch that. The trap door goes boom, just like that. I think that would look pretty much perfect, but uh, I'm out of oak logs again. The crafting table definitely needs to move. We'll put the crafting table over there. I feel like that's probably a little bit better, keeps it a bit more open, uh, so then I can walk right up and go right around. Yep, that's good. Maybe on the crafting table to spice it up a little bit, jungle trap doors. I think that looks nice. From a distance, this is what the treehouse looks like. Look at that thing. It's an absolute beast. Now, you can see out here, I went ahead and put trap doors on the cap of all of those oak logs. I think that looks nice. And then lanterns hanging from the thing, too. Mm hmm. Definitely keeps it bright. Maybe I need some more lanterns up top, though. That might look nice up there. So check this out. Right now, the treehouse is pretty close to the tree, so it actually doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty realistic, but what would make it look more real? Well, a branch sitting right below that floor would definitely make it look a whole lot more real and a whole lot more sturdy. So that's what we need to add on. Thankfully, we have these trees right here. This is going to make this part a whole lot more simple. So I'm thinking that maybe this tree branch should probably... I, again, maybe uh, stick past this thing a little bit and I feel like it should maybe come off of this thing like diagonally over in this direction I think that would be pretty cool So what we're gonna do is start by placing the leaves instead of the branches We put the leaves first you want to keep these branches really um, natural looking though So we'll avoid perfect shapes like squares as tricky in Minecraft I know I know but uh, avoid the squares So there we go We keep moving it out and then we'll actually I think step it down a little bit and start filling it back over and then this is probably where we want to start coming in with branches. So we'll put a branch right there. And then I think what we want to do is probably go diagonal over and up, maybe at the same time. So something like that. So if we shave this stuff out, uh, that's what we have so far. Maybe this one could, it could actually step down a little bit. All right, it steps up and over and out. That's good. That's good for sure. But it needs more leaves in here. Uh, otherwise, it looks like really, really weird. Maybe though, because why not? Let's try and add another one right next to it. But this one, it won't go all the way up. It'll stay like that height right there. All right, so what do we have now? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, oh, like a clump of leaves there and a clump of leaves there. Now, all we need to do is fix the bottom side of this platform because it's really, really flat looking. This is what I'm thinking. A log, log, and then actually this time, instead of a trap door or anything, we just do another staircase, just like that. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with the shape, actually. Uh, I keep coming back and messing with it, like, a little bit, but overall, I would say that I'm pretty content with the shape. 
So, I think what we're gonna do is leave it alone, stop messing with it. Last but not least, some other cool interior decoration ideas. Of course, rugs. Rugs are always an amazing thing. Even inside of tree houses, rugs work perfectly. Note blocks are pretty cool looking. They also make nice low-cost jukeboxes. Flower pots with things inside of them, of course. So those are always nice for decoration too. We'll go ahead and put a flower pot back there on that one, and then maybe we'll put one up here in this front corner. I feel like that'll look nice. It'll kind of peek through. In here, maybe underneath these oak logs to spice things up even more. Some fences, extra fences are nice. Maybe one right there too. Up top outside, absolutely. Want to get some more lanterns in here. Instead of on the side though this time, let's put it right in the middle. Can't forget about this platform out here. That could be dangerous too. Definitely don't want a creeper up there. And then last but not least, maybe, maybe an extra table in here, just like that. But then other than that, I don't think I really want to put much else in here. We could come back in eventually with banners. That could be cool. But really, aside from what we just put in here, I can't really fit too much else. I don't want to make it too cramped. Oh, and then somehow I almost forgot the vines. Because we live in the jungle, the vines had a really nice touch of detail to the inside of the build, so I'm going to leave them here. But if you didn't live in a jungle, maybe take the vines out and do something interesting in the middle. Realistically, you'd probably want to leave the tree there, but you might be able to cut out like one or two blocks and then make like a cool shelf or something like that. That could be another cool way to spice things up. And you know what? Maybe. Because why not? I, I love chains. We didn't get to use any on the build, so let's add a lantern on a chain right here by the ladder. So I guess I can um, always see and find my way up. <laughs> I have no clue. I think that's actually going to do it for the treehouse build today, though. Next episode, we'll definitely be coming back and adding a little bit more detail to the treehouse, but I guess most of the detail will probably come in above the treehouse. It's going to be really sweet. The question of the day today isn't from a single person. It's from a lot of you guys. The, the, the shaders, where did they go? They were on for two episodes and then they're gone. So I, I've decided, uh, based off of your guys' feedback, that the shaders, even though they look really nice, maybe they shouldn't be on 24-7. The world and the shadows and everything like that looks really good with the shaders. Honestly, I love it, but a lot of you guys pointed out that it's not exactly vanilla, which I thought was a good point, and I would like to keep things vanilla. Also, it seems like some of you guys get a little bit of motion sickness from the shaders too, so yeah, definitely sorry about that. So I came up with a compromise. Instead of using the shaders in all of the episodes, maybe in like explorer episodes we use shaders because we're looking at the world and it would be cool, and then randomly at the end of episodes we turn the shaders on to check out the builds. I will still probably stick to the minimal shaders though, because I feel like good shaders can make an ugly build look good, like almost no matter what. So anyways, that's what's up with the shaders, that's what I'm thinking. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like. If you're hyped for the Creeper Farm next episode, also leave a like. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. Shout out to DeVins and Shadow Zen for the support. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay fresh. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.